Hello everyone, thank you for joining on my another live streaming today. So this is the 5th of September 2020 on Saturday. So, hope you're having a great weekend today. Any plans for the weekends? Um, Alright, so let's see. Yeah, this weekend I will be having a couple of one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions on my GTS members and also there will be a GTS classes. So that's something that I do and every week uh, usually on uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday I'm kinda easy going uh, because there's only lives, live sessions every day but uh, that's about it so and also I'm working on writing the next book on the community which is basic Ichimoku basic theories book so that's also will be available in time soon within the Ichimoku members so these are the couple of projects that I'm working on right now. So I hope you're having a great, great Saturday. So every Saturday I talk about some uh, psychology or money management related topics because the market is closed anyways. So I share my idea, my thoughts and my philosophy of, uh, of my trades. And as the title says, today I will talk about why I became a trend follower. And um, yeah, for me, uh, trend following is very important. I mean, this is my backbone of my whole trading strategies. I don't take on trade and trading. I don't go against the trend. I always make sure to go along with the trend. And I will talk about the importance of it by looking at a couple of real chart examples. So before starting here, um, for those who are new to my channel, my name is Kay. And I am a Japanese full-time forex trader based in Tokyo, Japan. And in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about how to simplify your market analysis, how to be time efficient, and most importantly, how to become a non-losing trader over time. And also, I have been using Ichimoku Kin Kohyo for the last five years as one of my main trader strategies. And I have been sharing extensive knowledge from the original books in this YouTube channel also. And as far as I know, I am the only Japanese trader who teaches Ichimoku Kin Kohyo from the original books in English. So hopefully you enjoy my everyday lectures on my channel. And if you're interested, there is a Ichimoku membership community or you can join by clicking the join button. So if you're interested, you're always welcome to join the community. And also, uh, there are still a couple of seats available on this GTS class uh, between uh, October and December. So if you're still interested, you can always um, write me an email and uh, yeah, save a, save a seat. All right, so that's about it for the announcement. And before studying anything here, um, just a dis dis disclaimer, all this knowledge is based on my own exper experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. Okay, so the importance of the trend follow. And if uh, you have already downloaded the PDF, I talked about the importance of the trend follow on this PDF. So this is a PDF that's available to anyone when you click, the, when you click the, uh, the link on the description box below. You can see the link to download the case trading strategy. And this PDF was actually created by the request from traders who joins my channel. And this is the first version. Well, actually this is technically this is I think the third version of a PDF. And I am thinking to revise it on in October uh, this this year. So, but in here, I put I wrote the importance of the trend follow. Yeah, if you have looked at it before, so I will go each line today, and I will look at the chart later, and I will tell you exactly why these statements are important to me. So before starting here, uh, let me see who's here. Danish, Bala, and Bibimar. Thank you for joining. And Mezi, uh, Men uh, Medi, sorry, Medi, and WM Kion. Thank you for joining. And Jeroen, thanks for joining as well as a moderator. Good to see you, as always. 
uh, Serol, and Ashok, Zoyeb, uh, Tawin, uh, Rana, Tanapol, Isaac, Karim, Moana, Gamini, Baxi, uh, Rana, once again, thank you for joining, and Akbar, uh, Orania, and Abdel, Khan, and yeah, thank you for joining everyone. I don't use uh, trading view to take a trade, I always take a trade over MT5. TradingView is only the platform to analyze the market. So here is the brief statements of why important trend analysis is important to me. So first, it can be time efficient. So as I said in the beginning, in this YouTube channel, the main t one of the main topics is to be time efficient to the market. And when you think about the trades, you know, no matter uh, no matter you trade uh, st uh, stock markets or uh, cryptocurrencies, forex or commodities, uh, whichever market you take in trades, time efficiency is the key. Meaning that uh, when you analyze the chart, maybe only like five minutes, ten minutes, and if you can earn, you know, a decent amount of pro profit, like a ten percent profit mean return, that will be a great way to invest money, right? Because you get return in the short term, and that's the importance of. Now, why I, tr I identify the trend and follow it. Because when it's in the range, uh, you cannot be time efficient because you might look at the chart, you might look for the trade chances, sell or buy, and you might take a, take a buy, but the price doesn't go really to a direction. It might retrace backwards anytime soon, and you get stopped out many times, you get lost cut many times because the market is ranging. So, for example, this is USDJPY daily chart, and as you can see, this is ranging within the P wave now. And this is when I don't take trades, because when you take trades, let's say you take a buy here at some point, right? initially the price might go up, but it doesn't really go up that much. right? It doesn't really go up that much, but it actually goes backwards soon. And when you take a sell too, when you take a sell, for example, here, then initially the price may go down, but at some point it's it's been uh, it's been retracing against your uh, your uh, direction, and the price can go backwards to your position, and you will, you know, get break even or a stop loss. So either way, within the range, uh, it's you know for me it's like a meaningless to take a trace. And that we can calculate or we can capture it by the Kumo angle direction and Kijun Sen angle direction. That's it. So that's why I make sure to uh, make sure that the Kumo moving up or down and Kijun Sen moving up or down according to the Kumo direction. And then I take buy or sell by looking at the multiple time frames. And this is so, like when Kumo's flat, Kijun Sen flat, I won't even look at the chart. So the USDJPY looks to be in a P wave, and it, it, it might it might go backwards here. But even if I take a sell here, and let's say the price goes backwards, but uh, it, I can't expect that the price continue to go down this way. I cannot, because the price might be supported by this trend line and goes upwards. And the whole time, maybe for the next one week or so, uh, it might be in the range, and the price does not really go anywhere towards the direction. So this is kind of the market that I would not take trades, or I don't even look at it. So same here in gold. The gold is ranging now on the daily chart. Uh, if you look at the gold, if I can uh, zoom in a little bit, like this, uh, this is exactly in the P wave, or a Kumo flat and a Kijun Sen flat right now. So as soon as I see this Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, what I mean by Kumo is uh, Senko Span, uh, A and Senko Span B are both completely flat and Kijun Sen flat. And this is where I avoid taking trades because even if the price might have gone up this way, you know, uh, it might go backwards pretty soon. All right, uh, because this is in the range market the whole time, and even if the price may have gone downwards and break breaks the recent low downwards, it might come back anytime soon, because this is in the range for the whole time until the price breaks either this level of the recent low 
on this uh, 12th of August or this highest high level that marked on uh, 7th of August until the price breaks either direction either downwards or upwards right this that way uh, I would stay away from the chart so yeah I hope you get the idea of uh, importance of why you have to you know avoid taking trades in this kind of condition because the market does not really go anywhere in this kind of case all right so I start to see some comments here now hi Steven thank you for joining to see you and Kalaf good to see you Moana thank you for joining as well and Archit and uh, Sahil Aditya thank you for joining to see you <laughs> all right my new student is here yep Good to see you. Artit says, I'm watching your videos from last month and I learned many new things from you. Happy Teachers Day, my sir. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about anything. I mean, uh, I only talk about based on my own, you know, uh, knowledge and experience. And so if I, if I don't have any experience, then I, I wouldn't I wouldn't take I wouldn't say or I wouldn't explain so I use Ichimoku right this is the original book of Ichimoku Kin Kohyo and this is just one of the volumes and I happen to have another one here this is the first volume and this is the fourth volume and I have uh, three uh, three other volumes on my bookshelf over there but um, yeah these books are very like by my Bible, my Bible to me. So I deeply study about Ichimoku. I've read these books at least 12, uh, 20 times so far, and I'm still reading through because I'm writing the new book for Ichimoku members, which should be available in September. So uh, now, you know, I, Ichimo I know Ichimoku, right? I know I am not only the Japanese trader, but also I studied Ichimoku. Uh, from the original books and I am still studying it on, on the real chart so in that sense I am still a student of Ichimoku right but I'm not a I'm not a direct student of Goichi Hosoda or anybody else right I'm just a single one single trader who loves Ichimoku but anyways you know now so our, I know understand I understand Ichimoku and that's why I talk about it I take tries on these pairs and that's why I'm willing to talk about it and I look at the gold and recently I started to look at these indexes so I talk about them too because I am becoming a stock trader in near future and also I'm willing to take trades on the indexes also in the future in the near future and that's why I started to talk about it but if I don't take any trades like a, for example like a cryptocurrencies I don't take trades and that's why I don't want to talk about it really unless there are some requests from the traders so yeah basically uh, it's my style that the uh, I only want to talk about based on my own experience and the things that I don't know I don't want to really talk about it so hopefully uh, you learn uh, you know uh, from my from my YouTube channel that way all right uh, Hamed thank you for joining to see you And Sarah, uh, there are a couple of times the Kijun Sen Chikou span, either A or B, are pointing downwards, opposite to the trend, still follow the trend. So there are a couple of times uh, when uh, Kijun Sen Chikou span, either A or B, are pointing downwards, opposite to the trend. Um, in that case, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't follow it. I won't follow the trades because. I think that's in the range market, most likely. Yeah, I only wait for the Senko Span B to be moving up, Senko Span A to be up, and Kijun Sen to be up. Basically, I only look at these three lines. And to me, these Tenkan Sen and Chikou Span are kind of the additional information. But I value these Senko Span B A and Kijun Sen among these five lines and this is the backbone of my trade strategy 
All right, uh, Sion. Uh, hi, Mr. K. Please, can you explain me how to trade when in range market Bollinger Band squeeze for any currency pairs? Although it's range, I can see good trading opportunity at the end. Oh yeah, I will talk about it later. Yeah. So, I say that I am a, I am a, a trend follower, but it doesn't mean that I follow trend on any time frames. I don't mean that. I only follow trends on higher time frames, which are four hour chart or daily chart. So that's another important thing about, you know, becoming a trend follower. So um, I look at the daily chart and four hour chart because I value the market volatility to run profit for myself. I use the volatility of the market to run profit for myself every month, every trace. I do that. And another reason why I depend on the trend direction on the daily chart or forward chart is that to have the better risk to reward ratio every time I take trades. So, um, in that sense, in that sense, uh, sometimes I see 15 minute chart to be ranging, or 15 minute chart against the major trend on the daily chart, or five minute chart too. Maybe five minute chart can be ranging. Five minute chart can be going against the daily chart trend. But I still look for the buy chance in that case because I am looking for the buy chance by following the daily chart direction. So that's one thing. That's another thing that's important of why how I you know capture these trends. So for example, um, let's see you I think Euro GBP, yeah Euro GBP is going down now. That you can see Kumo is moving down first of all. This is bearish Kumo. And the Senko Span B flat, but the Senko Span A is going down, and Kijun Sen is going down right now. So this is downtrending in a daily chart, all right? First of all, first of all, this is a downtrend in a daily chart. But we saw a retracement on last Thursday. There was a retracement on last Thursday, and the price looks to be going up now in a short term. But the overall market is downtrending. So I still expect that this is going to be a uh, reverse end wave. This is a continuous reverse end wave. So I expect the price goes down this way. This is my expectation for now. And that's why I still look for the sell chance. Because Kijun Sen and Senko Span A are both going downwards now. So this is what I mean by trend follow. So in 5 minute chart, we saw that there was uptrend. So let's take a look at the five. In five minute chart, uh, um, two days ago, on this uh, 4th of September, there, this was a huge uptrend. But I won't look for sell chance. I mean, um, I still look for sell chance when it's uptrending, as long as the mid time frames, one hour chart or 30 minute chart are also going down. So in this case, I think they were moving up. And here is one hour chart. And in one hour chart, we see that this is, what, this is still moving up. This is uptrending in one hour chart because the price is above the Kumo. And this is in wave. The wave is in wave now. So I expect the price still go up this way. But because this is downtrending on the daily chart still, where Kijun Sen going down and Senko Span A going down, I expect at some point the market goes downwards eventually. And that's the wave that I wanted to capture. I don't want to capture these waves because these are just temporary waves. I don't want to you know, take trades on these waves. So in that sense, for example, if I start to see a like a head and shoulders like this, like head and shoulders can be expected and then I will look for sell chance at some point. Um, so and this is still in wave, right? This is one hour chart and this is still in the middle of the bullish in the wave. So I won't look for sell chance. But as soon as I start to see a reverse in wave like this and the price breaks the Kumo downwards and Kijun Sen should go down this way and Kumo will be moving down like this way, then I will look for the sell chance from here by looking at the lower time frames. At this moment, 
I won't look for a tail chance because this is bullish. Price above the Kumo. Chikou Span breakout is happening now, but price above the Kumo still. And Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen too. So uh, there is no confirmations for now that uh, the price goes downwards this way yet. And that's why I just wait for the price to come down below the Kumo until uh, the Kumo go down and Kijun Sen points downwards too. Until then, I just I won't look for any sell chances right now. Yeah. So, um, so right now this is going up. So we don't see any like trade chances. But uh, before that, it was downtrending. When you see the previous history, this was downtrending, like from uh, from the Kumo twist over here up to like here. This was downtrending the whole time. And in this case, I look at the low, lowest time frames, which are 5 minute chart or 15 minute chart. So let's take a look at the 5. And I, I look at the 5 minute chart. And what I do is, I, for example, I, I take the Bollinger Bands. And whenever it squeezes, I take trace. So the market has been going down all the whole time. And when, whenever they squeeze, whenever the Bollinger Band squeeze, I take look for the sell chance. So there was kind of huge spike up and going down this way. So this was a very, very tricky market. But while I'm looking at the angles of Kumo and Kijun Sen, most likely, like uh, somewhere here, it should be downtrending. So. Uh, let's zoom in here at some point. Whenever the Bollinger Band gets squeezed, so I see that there is a nice squeeze within the range like this way on the whole time between this day. Uh, as 1st of September at um, 7 p.m. UTC up until uh, somewhere here, probably. Uh, 2nd of September, uh, 4th, 5th, for 55 UTC AM between here, the Bollinger Band has been squeezing the whole time. So I expect that the, when the price breaks the low downwards, then the price can go all the way down this way. And by knowing that, I look for the sell chance. I mean, Bollinger Bands can be one of uh, the, the trade signals. I also look at the stochastic dead cross and uh, Canada trend lines, I look at it also. So whatever confirmations it might be, uh, I look for the sell chance. But this is in the range for the whole time, right? I, I want this. I wanted to say that this is a range for, for the whole time in its five-minute chart. But because daily chart is going down and one-hour chart is also going down, I expect at the squeeze, I expect the price goes down this way. In this case, it retested this area. So if I take a sell here, then my stop loss should be above the recent high, which is at this level, depending on how many pips in between. If this is less than 10 pips, then I won't take it anyways. But let's see. Oh yeah, this is 10 pips, so this is too close. So to be safer, I will move the stop loss over here on, on this second high, so that it has uh, enough room for the stop loss. So in this case, this is this is 24, 24 pips of stop loss. So this is decent. And I keep holding this sell until the price goes downwards. And at this next pullback, I move it, move that stop loss to break even. But I hope you get the idea of uh, how I combine these indicators and tools to follow the major trend direction. And in this particular case, I only following the daily chart trend. I'm not following the Huawei chart. I'm not following the one hour chart. I am only following the daily chart trend. And I get exact timing by 5 minute chart by taking these uh, tools and uh, indicators. 
So that's important. Uh, so in this case, in this way, I can use, I can leverage the volatility, market volatility to uh, run profit for myself. Because when daily chart is ranging, and when a 5 minute chart also ranging this way, let's say daily chart is ranging like this, a Kumo squeezing, Kumo uh, flat, Kijun Sen flat, let's say. And then in 5 minute chart, it can go up or down. Either way, it can go up or down. We never know which way it's going. But because daily chart is going down this way, in this case, we can expect that the price breaks downwards after the squeeze. And it can be very time efficient to take trades. So after you take a buy or sell, and until you set the break even is the game that you want to play so that afterwards it becomes either break even or win game and you want to increase probability of uh, of of when to move the stop loss to break even as soon as possible and the Bollinger Band actually suggests a very good chance to to uh, to for the market to go down this in this case after the squeeze because when it's squeezing the market is basically charging the power for a breakout either direction so when market is charging the power while downtrending on daily chart downtrending on the one hour chart we can expect that the price goes downwards and when it goes down it goes very sharply so that it can be very time efficient and you can move the stop loss break even as soon as possible but when you take trades in the range, you cannot do that. After you, after you move the stop loss break even, the price can retrace backwards soon, and you get stopped out many times. So that's one thing that is important about uh, volatility. Use the volatility, right? Work for you. Let the volatility work for you is the key. As Roberto Kiyosaki says, he says, uh, you know, let the money work for you. Let the money work for you, but in forex traders or in any traders, right? You have to you have to focus on let the market volatility work for you to run profit, and that's very important. Because if if there is no volatility in the market, if there is no direction in the market, uh, you cannot run profit as much. All right. So, and also, it actually you know gives you the better risk to real ratio when you trade trade that way. And also, you can be more confident on entries because you can expect the market goes towards a direction um, more than taking trades in the range market. When it's in range, uh, you know you, you don't know which way the price is going. It might go up, it might go down. Um, so although we see a, hold on, let's see. So for example, like a daily chart, coming back to the daily chart, right now this is, hold on. Euro GBP daily chart, this is going, hold on, let me see, yeah, it's going down, this is going down, so we have to look for the sell chance now, in this case, we don't want to look for buy chance, we want to look for sell chance, and so that, uh, you know, we know that the, the market goes towards your direction. All right, and so let me come back to some of the comments now. I get lots of messages for it already. All right, up to which one did I cover? Okay, Marvin says, uh, Hi K, if you trade foreign pairs, do you convert foreign currency to your account currency to calculate the position size or how do you proceed yeah i convert it to my own currency when i take trades uh, through my uh, japanese broker i convert it to japanese brokers uh, i mean jpy to to uh, calculate when i take trades based on usd then i just go for the usd uh, position sizing to calculate all right aditya uh, i'm a new trader i only deal into stocks, don't trade in forex commodity market, uh, but your rules work in stocks also. 
Yeah, this is universal. So it should work on stocks also. Yeah, for stocks, I think uh, you have to you have to be more swing day to swing trader. So uh, you might not want to take look for the buy chance or sell chance in five or fifteen minute chart. I think you better take like one hour chart or above time frame for execution in stocks. So when I really start to take trades on stocks with my real account, then I will share this knowledge even more. But yeah, this so far this is just my feel that the uh, you know forex market is you know it can go up and down very sharply towards either direction. So this rule of trend follow and this rule of the risk to reward ratio is more important. And I'm sure stock market is also important too. But I think you have to see the market in longer term, like indexes or stock market. I think you better see the chart in in the longer term, in my opinion. But the backbone should be the same as a trend follower. Hi Amin, thank you for joining. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point actually. Yeah, if I work on a daily chart, one hour chart, then I should draw waves on a which time frame chart. Daily chart, one hour chart, then your execution will be either a 5 or 15 minute chart. Uh, waves can appear on any time frames. So within the daily chart, there is one hour chart waves. And within one hour chart wave, there will be a 5 minute chart or 15 minute chart waves too. Because market is fractal on any time frames. But uh, my advice is to follow the waves in a daily chart or higher time frames. So in this case, once again, on the daily chart, this is reverse in the wave now. This is reverse in the wave. So although we see some retracement backwards, I expect the price continue to go down this way. Although we see a you know many waves along the way, overall this is reverse in the wave, and this is one second, and the, we can expect the third in wave as one chunk of the you know wave analysis on Ichimoku. Yeah, this is called sandan, sandan uh, in in Japanese. Sandan wave. Yeah, so make sure to follow the major trend direction is the key. Hayden says, uh, how does one identify a fake breakout? Um, it's hard. It's hard to identify the fake breakout, first of all. It can be fake as a result. But at the time of fake, we wouldn't know whether it's going to be fake or not. So instead of capturing, instead of trying to capture the fakes, you have to have a decent money management strategy. And you have to take the fake breakout as one of their scenarios. I think that's a better way to put it. So fakes, yeah, I, I've, uh, yeah, I was really kind of get tired of the fakes in the past. Every time I take trades, there were like fake moves in the price, you know, uh, went up and downwards uh, with the stop loss hits. So that was very frustrating for me at that time. And that was because I didn't know that, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't understand the market as a fact that the fakes do happen afterwards. Uh, we cannot know the fakes beforehand. So in that sense, how to deal with the fakes is more important. Uh, how to how to uh, you know create scenarios, including fake breakout, is more important than uh, looking for than, than trying to look for the fakes. Is I think the best way to put it. So in this case too, like um, let's say there is a like a recent low on this level. Um, hold on. So there is a recent low on this level. There are a couple of supports. In the past, on this uh, 0 0.8867 area, and it looks like the market reacted by that, and the market is going up now. Looks like it, but I expect the price breaks downwards because Kumo down and Kijun Sen down also, and this is a reverse in wave, so that's why I expect the price continue to go down this way, as as a bearish sandan uh, three consecutive in waves structure. May you might want you know we might see that. 
uh, along the way, we might see that the uh, the price breaks downwards, but it comes back up like this and go downwards this way, right? There are fakes. Fakes do happen like this. So in this case, you might jump in to take a sell, but the price goes up backwards eventually, and you get lost cut. So here you get lost cut. And afterwards, maybe overnight, right, when you are sleeping, the price goes down all the way, and you regret, you regret in the morning. Um, yeah, so the question is whether you are actually th thought about the fake breakout when you took a sell here, is a question. When you took a sell here, with the mind of the fake breakout, then you can uh, limit your risk, like 1% risk you can take, or maybe um, you, you wait for the next pullback, you know, wait for next pullback and take a sell to be safer. You have that mindset. But maybe when you take a sell here, it's already late at night, like uh, 1 a.m. or 12 um, you know, a.m. It's too late and you just place a sell and you just go to bed. Or if you can wait enough, then you can wait for the next pullback after the breakout and take a sell here to be more safer, and this is your call. But the primary condition should be Kijun Sen going down and Kumo going down. So, um, yeah, the fakes do happen, and we can avoid the fakes. I get caught by fakes many times every month, but uh, I still grow profits every month because I take this fake also into one of the scenarios every time I take trace. So I expect the price go down, continue to go down, but uh, at the same time, I kind of uh, admit the fact that it becomes fake and goes backwards. And then I take a sell. So I think, uh, I think uh, yeah, this is, I think this is more important than trying to identify which one is going to be the fake breaker or not. In my opinion. All right, so let's see. Uh, how about if the daily up, daily is up trending, up trending, and the weekly and the H4 still, H4 until five minute chart time frame is opposite. We'll still go for the trade. In that case, I will depend on the four hour chart and look for the buy chance. And the daily can go up. Upwards. All right, so let's see. All right, um, we mean normal. Excuse me, sir. What time frame must we use to find a short, short time trend to get five to ten pips? Um, yeah, if you're a scalper, then uh, you can just take a five minute chart or one minute chart even. To, to look at the market. Yeah. Okay, Moana says, uh, when you look at the trend line, uh, when you look at look the trend, sorry, and the letter is too small, so it's kind of difficult for me to read through. Sorry about the, the errors. Uh, when you look the trend in a daily chart, don't you take a look also on the weekly chart, monthly chart to look if there is a resistance support near the prices. Yes, of course I do. I do look at these uh, recent high, recent low in higher time frames. Yep. Okay, and let's see. What uh, UT do you use to add positions following the main trend? What is UT? Sorry. Uh, Anzwara, hello K. San, thank you for all the help. You're welcome. I mean, you have a great community of Ichimoku in Iran. Oh, you ha we have. Okay, that's great. That's great. Yeah, one of the surprises for me is that the uh, you know there are you know many Ichimoku communities around the world, and this is amazing. This is amazing. Until I, you know, do this, you know, YouTube uh, live streams every day, I would never know. Uh, if there was any like such a communities outside of Japan Because all my knowledge is based on Japanese based in Japanese 
I never learned Ichimoku in English. All my knowledge is based on the Japanese and based on these original books. So maybe the way I present Ichimoku might be different from you've heard already before. And I think that's because I don't refer to any like a uh, yeah like a uh, English um, knowledges. But yeah, that's nice. That's nice that uh, you know you use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for your trays. Yeah, that's great. All right, I mean, says, okay, are you a trend trader or reverse trader? I am a trend trader. I all, always make sure to follow the trend, major trend direction. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so let me take a look at other market. Uh, I will give you the overview, market overview tomorrow on Ichimoku weekly forecast. So you can join there and I will talk about it more details but uh, just briefly touching on these pairs basically these are retracing now like on this uh, GBPUSD this is going down and we see a doji candle right here uh, supported by this Kijun Sen it's going up now so I expect the price continue to go up this way next week uh, along with this, uh, of course, along with this Kumo direction and Kijun Sen direction, I expect the price to go up this way. If it goes down, then Kijun Sen should go flat and Kumo should go flat too. And I wouldn't look for buy chance anymore. But right now, the price is still above the Tenkan Kijun Sen, Chikou Span is still above the candles, and Kumo Senko Span A is pointing upwards. So I still expect the price goes upwards, although we see a retracement for for the recent uh, two days. Hi Shanti, thank you for joining. To see you. For intraday, should I check in 50 minute chart and if forecast line work on the stock market? Uh, forecast lines you should use on daily chart. Daily chart. But you can take trades in lower time frames if, if you are intraday trader. But forecast line should depend on the daily chart. With my recommendation. Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live in about uh, five minutes, and we're gonna have a Ichimoku membership live afterwards in about fifteen minutes. So let me read through a couple of more comments now. Mr. K, why is the winning rate trend followers still not above 60%? Because we value the risk to value ratio more than the winning rate. Alright, Marvin, uh, hi K, big breakout of long term trend line in SP500 yesterday. What are your thoughts? Uh, I will talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, I will talk about the SP500 tomorrow on my Ichimoku Forex forecast. So please join that one. And I will explain that. Atoru Sitarama, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Kush, good to see you. Okay, you know, Mr. K, please explain before my questions. Okay, uh, did I skip your question? Um, all right, hold on. Or oh, about the Bollinger Bands, right? So I already talked about the Bollinger Band squeeze in five. Yeah, I only take Bollinger Bands in lower time frames, which are five or fifteen minute chart. I don't, I don't take Bollinger Bands in higher time frames. So that's the thing here. So to capture trends, I only use Ichimoku, especially Kumo and Kijun Sen angles. I value. But when I take trace, I take these confirmations. I take Ichimoku also in lower time frames, as well as price action, also a very important price action. There's a doji pin bar engulfing, double top, double bottom, head and shoulders, thrust up and down, wrong way up and down. I have a playlist of this uh, price action series, so if you haven't looked at it, you can uh, come to my YouTube playlist section and you can see the price action lectures. And also I take lines, of course this is important. 
and Bollinger Band Squeeze Expansion, I take it also, and Stochastic Cross Divergence, I take it, and Fibonacci Retracement Extension, I take it too. So Bollinger Bands, as you can see, I use it only on 15 or 5 minute chart to expect the breakout in lower time frame. But see, all the interesting stuff happen overnight if you live in the Asia region. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep, yep. Hi Red, thank you for joining. GPP USD, I will take a look at it tomorrow. On my um, weekly Forex forecast tomorrow. On every Sunday, I do that. So please join. And you will hear me talking about GPPUSD and all these pairs on my watch list. Hi Faison, thank you for joining. Uh, Wouldn't be normal. Well, thank you very much for answer. Sure, you're welcome. UT time frame. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right, right. I was like, UT? What is it? So, what was the question, Moana? Uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, uh, what time frame do you use to add positions following the major trend? Um, so I take these. So um, uh, I I look at the chart in three time uh, three different time frames. I mean three categories of time frames. I take the daily chart or four hour chart to capture the major trend, and I take one hour chart or thirty for confirmation, and I take 15 or 5 for entry timing. I hope that answered to your question. Okay. Alright. Yep. Yeah, you're welcome everyone. You're welcome. Okay. So, I, get, I see a couple more questions and comments now, but I have to go and I have to switch to the membership live for now. So once again, thank you for joining everyone. I hope you enjoyed my lecture as to why I follow the trend, major trend direction. So just as a recap, uh, why I do the trend analysis is because to be time efficient, to use the market volatility to run profit for myself and to have better risk to real ratio and to be confident on entries because the market tends to go towards the direction afterwards and to know how far the trend will extend and basically to go with the major flow is the key like the river you don't want to go against the river because it takes time and takes more effort takes more muscles to go against the flow but if you go along with the flow without much of power much of stress you know uh, you know the market just take you to to uh, to uh, to uh, you know to the promised land, <laughs> so so to speak. Um, so we don't want against on something, right? If as soon as you you are against something, it creates tension, it creates uh, you know struggle, con uh, uh, conflict. But if you go along with something, the flow, then uh, and by itself without any stress or without any power to do, to it uh, you know it'll take you to wherever you want to go so make sure to follow trends and you should be fine all right so thank you for joining everyone so as i said tomorrow i will do the ichimoku weekly forex forecast on my watch list pairs in stock markets and in, uh, indexes and commodities so i wish I see you tomorrow, and until then, I hope you have a uh, stay healthy and stay gold. All right, and for those members, I will see you soon. So, bye for now, everyone. Matane, thank you.